Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Fights. I'm Joe Tessitore with my partner, Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the Royal London Theater here in London, England. Okay, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up. Well, they've been waiting let's for this see, moment, let's see, let's see and now they here. get it. Round one what underway. Do you think you are? Who do you Kenny, think you obviously are? Obviously, a fighter like this, well balanced, he can do it all. Does he have to be careful not to do it all? Yeah, what he has to. There Oops. it is. He falls victim to that big hook. Teddy, he's stunned right there. Now he's clinching right here. And that's the only way he's getting through this round. He needs to stay there and hold on for dear life. Fires right back at him. <laughs> Off target Who with do that you hook. Think you are? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. What a good counterpunch by Long. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, uh, now look at him. He does not yeah, look good yeah, on the back yeah, end of that hook yeah. coming home. Oh, boy, he is stunned badly. He is staggered and hurt and could go down. Teddy, what do you got to be yelling for encouragement if you're the corner? Well, if it was a baseball game, I'd be yelling for rain. <laughs> right now, I, I want this stop. But what he has to really get is a way to clinch. Couldn't hit the elusive ah, target okay. with that straight right. Ten seconds remaining in this round. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's okay, one thing you look for in a round two. like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Himself, well, the first uh, thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue and red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. <laughs> Nice block that time. Oh, it was intended boy. to the head. Now he missed that right. Every time we call a fight, Teddy, we see guys with different physical makeups. If you had to build the perfect fighter, what would he look like? Well, you know, all different kinds of dimensions to it. First of all, I think that he would be the kind of finisher that Joe Lewis was. He would have power in the, the head Rocking the way that a Mike body. That's the way it works. And he would have the speed to put those punches together the way Sugar Ray Robinson did. He would also have a chin of Jake LaMotta. And he would probably have the calmness. And that's the key. You know, that's the little spicing in the cake. It's not the eggs. It's not the flour. But it's that little extra ingredient. He'd have the ability to stay calm like Salvador Sanchez, where he could see the whole picture at all times. Nice block by Chico. Nothing there on the punch by Long. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. He's blocking everything, man. Oh! Oh, there we boy, go. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. He 
Has his hands seconds. up defensively, protecting the head. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the okay, corner, what's your three. approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He oh, early on man. Here in the round, and he's already down, and he doesn't look good at all. Damn. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a he's big shot. Up, but, hey, now he's got to have I, some I, I, big I, I, guts I, I, to move I, I, along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. <laughs> and a good counter by Chico. Come on, let's go. Let's get it. Lock and punch your way to victory, man. That's the way it works. Holy oh, cow. boy. That uppercut absolutely hey, no rocked holding, him. No well, I don't like Come the way his legs out. look at all right now. Long's corner will really need to get after that swell. Oh, oh boy. That's oh boy. Hurt. Long's been stunned. Nothing there on the punch by Long. I'm on a trip. That's your, that's your. Nice block by Chico. He just continues to get counter. Yes, they just don't know and now do this. Good looking counter punch. Perez is probably thinking to himself that he found an early answer. The counter punch doing damage here. And his opponent's thinking, what the heck am I doing? Am I shadow boxing? Because I'm not finding nothing. But I tell you, if I am shadow boxing, that shadow, it has a little bit of a punch. It's hit me back. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Okay, Perez is in control now. Scores a knockdown in the last round. Teddy, you think he's going to go after it here when this next round starts? Well, I'll tell you, Joe, he should. I think he should because that's what the networks are looking for. They're round looking four. to bring back guys that are exciting. There's no better way to ensure that they're going to bring it back than scoring a knockout. He has an opportunity. Yeah, opportunity to advance his career. And there he counters back against his opponent. Great pace to this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. Down, down. Down. Perez is doing a great job right there on the inside. Smartly landing shots. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Let's go. Let's keep it on. Well off the mark by Long. And a sharp counter punch by Long. that time it was intended to the head Teddy he's completely missing the jab and when that's not there oh you're gonna dug yourself a big hole now that's like saying I want to go swimming guess what there's no water <laughs> you need water to swim you need jab to fight to set things up come on he needs to improve that accuracy miss with the headshot this is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. Joe, you remember the time you were on a vacation? You saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Perez is coasting his way towards a victory here. That round comes to an end, and yet another round that you got to mark down on your scorecard for him. Yeah, the only way he loses now is if he's a glut. 
You know those guys? You've seen them, Joe. They're on our crew. They stay at the table too long. They don't know when to push away from the table, you know? Well, he's got to push away from the table right now. If he does that, hey, this is in the... Oh, oh boy. Long stunned, and he is hurt. Oh boy. He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown, but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Oh, by boy. Chico. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. Come on. Get that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Long's not showing us that he understands just how effective he can be if he went downstairs against his opponent. Yeah, well, you know what you're saying, Joe? You're taking a peek and you're taking a swipe without meaning at his trainer. Keep it up. Because keep it what go. he's telling you is he hasn't been keep taught some of the rudiments of boxing, that when you hurt a guy, you should go downstairs to finish him. Good return fire that time. Last 10 seconds. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Stunned, boy. And he is hurt. Perez is doing a really sharp job on the inside. He's staying busy. He's landing shots. Oh, oh, oh. Of that knockdown he suffered. And right now, he's in the arms of his opponent. He's just looking to clinch. Oh, oh he's down. Long's down. But is he out? He's got to fight back now. <laughs> just surviving but if he survives then he better figure out why he was put on the floor that worked out really well throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that 90 seconds to go here in this round oh boy He doesn't get careless, so he has plenty of confidence. If he walks in a little reckless now, that confidence could go right down the drain. Lands the counter. Oh, oh boy. He's making some costly mistakes here. Number one among them is he's not moving his head at all. No, he's a stationary target right now. And now the only thing that he's lucky about is only one coming at a time. But in a little while,
wild his opponent, you know it. His opponent's gonna start putting them together. Then he might not be here anymore. Oh, boy. oh, that's gotta hurt. Long's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Long's looking for an answer here, Teddy. No doubt about it. He's got to be behind on the short run. Yeah, he is. And what right now he needs a big punch to turn this around, get back into the swing of things a little bit. And I think one thing he can look for is maybe his opponent gets a little careless and bite him in a little bit you know you've been backpedaling a little bit let him come in and then suddenly make a miss and see if you can catch him with something as he comes just to get things started stop moving job of never giving his opponent the chance to get back in this fight just like we saw in that last round there he's way up on your score yeah i have way up and more importantly you touched on it it's the kind of fight he wants you know it's in his element it's in sort of in his pool so to speak his waters you know it's an outside fight it's a jabbing fight everything he likes that was a miss by long Long's opponent is really getting away with one here because he hasn't been the victim of any body weight. No, well, he should have talked to a plumber because, you know, he should ask the plumber, hey, if a guy has a real nice house, you know, you know how, can I, how can I mess it up? How can I ruin it? How, how can I flood it? Well, go downstairs and open up some pipes. Well, if a guy's fast, you know what? Go downstairs, open up some pipes, do a little flooding. You know, go down there. I mean, take away the speed. He just missed that shot up top. Long's struggling ever since he got stunned earlier in this fight. Teddy, what's the answer here? Well, the answer right now is to recover a little bit. He doesn't have to worry about winning this round. He just wants to survive the round, tie him up a little bit, and get those cobwebs out of his mind, out of his head. Come on, one of the go that I got. And he engages in the clinch. <laughs> And now they're trading blows. Long's looking like a guy to me that's running a little low in the gas tank here, but he's been absorbing body shots, and that'll get rid of your energy real quick. Hey, look. Going to the body is kind of like putting money in CDs in a bank. You know, you don't get the interest right away. You don't get the payoff right away, but the interest, it accumulates. And right now, it's been accumulating. Go down. And you see right now, well, it's the pain. Kind of a, a to go Perez is in complete control. Teddy, way ahead on the scorecards every which way, isn't he? Yeah, every which way, and especially the most important way, I think, is that the fight is in his kind of pace. It's a fast-paced fight. It's an outside. Yes, sir. Oh, precise and painful. The hook puts him down. I think he's getting back up. One, two, three, four. Oh, boy, boy. And this fight is over. Chico's got the win by way of knockout. He put his man down, and the 10th count was administered. Perez is your winner by knockout, Teddy. Well, we came in wondering whether or not his opponent had a good chin. We found out.
Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore Thank alongside you so much Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being like, with us. Like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Remember to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. See you guys next time. Another video.